Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Atari 8 to Z, a series of short playthroughs of Atari 8-bit games, some of which I grew up with and some which are new to me. Today is one of the latter. Today we're taking a look at Quarkson, which was a 1982 release from the Atari Program Exchange, or APX as we've seen it a few times on this series. It was programmed by Hawaiian developer Scott Ludwig, who had recently graduated high school at the time, and he'd been developing for various home computers, including the Atari, since the age of 13. The game scored first prize in the consumer category of the 1982 Autumn APX contest, and according to his biography in the Quarkson manual, Ludwig was intending to take a year out to hone his programming craft with projects like Quarkson before going on to study computer science and electrical engineering at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Now, no idea what happened to him since that, but I hope he's enjoyed a long and fruitful career doing what he loves. So, let's go play Quarkson. Okay, here we are with Quarkson by Scott Ludwig. Um, never come across this game before, so I'm quite intrigued to give it a go. It's a sort of competitive two-player game, but you can play it against the, um, the computer. And your aim is basically to battle against the other player, blast your way through their wall, and uh, get at the droids underneath. But there are a few interesting little mechanics along the way that will probably come up as we play. So first of all, let's just set number of players to one uh, with the option key uh, and we'll go with the default number of layers and droids at the moment so we'll have seven layers of wall to blast through and there's eight droids to destroy altogether so let's just see how things go so hit start i am the player at the top so your job when you're playing this is you have to shoot through the gaps in the wall in the middle um, and get at the droids and you'll see those gaps continually change position now there's a few rules in place that prevent you from just standing in one place and firing over and over again um, if you watch if I just fire twice in the same position you see that purple line appears now I can't fire through that but my opponent can so if you if you sit in exactly the same place and fire in exactly the same position uh, then you'll give your opponent an advantage which is obviously not what you want to do. So that wall that's coming up there, that is the crushing wall that appears when you actually shoot each other. And so there's a vulnerable spot in that line, which is the, um, the yellow line. that allows you to break through, or you can just try and navigate your way through the gaps in the wall. So there's actually a lot of really interesting mechanics at play in this one. It's a surprisingly strategic shooter. So there we are, I've hit him with my bullet, and that's crushed him under the wall, which puts him at a disadvantage for a moment, giving me the freedom to actually blast through and maybe take out some of his droids in the meantime. There we go. So I'm just about winning at the moment. So I've got five left up at the top, and he's got three left down at the bottom. Not Oops. Not 100% sure what you're supposed to do with that vulnerable spot. I, uh, I forget. You are, You can shoot through it. Um... Which is obviously one important thing. Oh dear. Two all. We're in trouble. And so you'll see the, the reason I'm moving back and forth there is to um, avoid the penalty on sitting in the same place and shooting. Come on, give me a nice gap. Nice gap for me to fire through, that'd be lovely. Oh, it's tense. It's tense. Is that close enough? Oh no, it closed up. So it's no good, is it? Yeah, crash him. 
Oh, no, you don't. No, you do not. Oh, I won. Somehow. I don't remember hitting that last droid, but apparently I did. Okay, so that's how this game works. Um, so what you can do is you can customise various things about the experience by pushing the joystick in various directions. So you can change the difficulty level by pulling back on the joystick. You can change the number of layers by pushing left on the joystick. Right down to no layers at all. And you can change the number of droids by pushing right on the joystick. Alright, so let's go with eight droids. Let's just have a go on intermediate difficulty now and see what difference that makes. Let's keep the same settings for the minute. And off we go. Oh, I see. When you hit the vulnerable point, the yellow bit, it actually blows a hole in the crushing wall where the um, where the hole was when you shot it, and that allows you to make a gap big enough for you to get through. But if your opponent hits you again in the meantime, oh, I see. You lose a droid if you get crushed as well. I think that's the case anyway. Is that right? Yes, it is. You lose a random droid when that happens. And I've lost my rear layer of um, barrier for some reason. Now, if you're the other side of the crushing wall when you get hit, you're actually safe for a moment. Because all that happens if you get hit when the crushing roll is already coming your way is um, uh, that it resets the, the vulnerable point to the far left side. There we go. And another one lost for him. So, we're nearly good. Right, just got to make a hole big enough for myself to sneak through like that. Oh no! Oh no! I ruined myself. <laughs> that was a much closer um, battle though. Yeah, that was fun. A sip of coffee and another go. Yeah, let's, let's keep on those same settings to begin with because that makes a nice reasonably long game. Alright, so sneak through there. Crush him, blow some holes in his barrier, let him lose something. This is a fun little game actually, I really like this. This would be super fun with two people, as long as both people understand the mechanics. Some of the mechanics are arguably a little bit obtuse. Like the fact you're not allowed to shoot twice from the same position, for example. That's a bit of a strange mechanic, but... Again, once you're familiar with it... Stop that. Oh, it's going badly. Stop this. Stop this madness. Oh no! Oh no! The crushing wall! Oh no! It's going very poorly for poor old Red here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I deserve that loss. I deserve that loss, absolutely. This is nicely balanced, actually, on this intermediate level. The beginning level was nice and easy, as it should be. But this intermediate level is, is putting up a nice challenge. It's, it's exposing you to all of the main game mechanics. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Cassis. Okay, going a bit better this time. Going a little bit better this time. Alright, give me a nice hole here. Oh no. The owl's not big enough. Let me in. Just let me into your heart. This would have made a really fun arcade game, actually. I can see this sort of sitting alongside stuff like Warlords. And the fact you can play it against a computer is really great. One more. One more and victory is mine. Through the hole. Thread the needle. Victory is mine! What an enjoyable little game. Alright, okay, let's... Reduce the number of droids and the number of layers by a bit. And let's see what difference that makes. So this time each side has a random arrangement of droids. And fewer layers of barrier. And the randomness means that it's likely to be asymmetrical as well, which is nice. Oh dear. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh no! Oh, I killed myself! I'm an idiot. <laughs> Not sure what determines when you lose that back row of your, um... of your wall. Well... Maybe we'll figure it out this time. You killed one of my dudes already. Unacceptable. a little too close. Crash him! I don't think the computer player is smart enough to avoid being crushed by the wall. So that is one slight advantage you have over the computer player, even on the most difficult levels. Because if you look, he just sits there. He doesn't even try and break a hole in it. Victory! Okay. Alright, let's tweak it down to... Let's have seven layers and just one droid. See what difference that makes. Alright, so we've now each only got one vulnerable point to shoot at. But I guess that does mean you can beat the computer super easily by crushing them like I'm about to do here. Yeah, okay. Because the computer's too dumb to get out of the way of the crushing wall, you can defeat them very easily with just one droid. Um, so that's probably a mode best saved for um, playing against another person. Let's have another 7 layer 8 droid game. It's, uh, I'm enjoying myself with this. Alright, bring it on. And it feels like the game was balanced in such a way that that arrangement is sort of the optimal way to play. Uh-oh. 
Come here. Come here. Sneaky, sneaky through the hole. On down for me. Shoot him. Shoot him. Come back here. Give me a hole. Ooh. No. Pixel. <laughs> I crush you. Yeah, I'm getting to hang out to play this now. In fact, you got to keep moving. Oh, I see. Right. Um, the little red bar in the middle is gradually counting down. I'm not 100% sure if that's based on shots or time, but it seems when that expires, I think that's when the back row of your um, wall disappears. I think it might be based on number of shots, looking at how it's going. So presumably that's to just discourage you firing blindly all the time. But I've won anyway, so it's all good. Alright, let's have one go on the expert mode and just see how capable this is of decimating me. Suppose the expert mode in this is very tough, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll just see about that. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's not just about the computer player being better, it's about the whole thing being harder. <laughs> Everything's faster, and the crushing wall doesn't have any lines, any holes in it to begin with. Oh no, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Stop it. Let me through. Oh no, too narrow. Too narrow, too quick. Oh, you are flattening me. Please stop. Let me through. Yes, crush him. Crush him. Throw him into the pit of fire. Or oh, I could just die too. That's good. Well, that went poorly. I will try it again. I'm not standing for that. That crushing a defeat. Sticky sticky through the hole. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. It's almost like you need to be an expert to play this mode or something. One thing I don't think I've mentioned before. One, one thing I rather like about old Atari games and it's a really weird thing to like about them but I really like the fact that instead of easy medium and hard they pretty much always went for beginner or novice intermediate and advanced or expert because that, that means I learned what those words were from a very young age and it sort of helped me to expand my vocabulary in a strange sort of way Like, as, as a five-year-old, you don't tend to come across the word intermediate very often. Or novice, for that matter. But thanks to Atari video games, I knew it from a very early age. Up to, how, how did... <laughs> absolutely slaughtered. Okay, so expert mode is pretty difficult. Intermediate definitely has that sweet spot when playing against the computer. Um, I guess that means those, those difficulty adjustments will apply when you're playing two-player as well. So you can play an expert level two-player game 
and that will incorporate the fast moving barriers and crushing walls and that sort of thing but you're still playing against a human opponent so that's pretty interesting yeah yeah I'm a big fan of that actually that's uh, a game I will have to try and bust out next time we have some visitors over who are up for some video gaming indeed if we ever have visitors ever again because you know how it is in 2021 <laughs> such things are a forgotten luxury of the past particularly as we all get older and uh, obviously a worldwide pandemic is not helping matters either but anyway if you have the opportunity to play this with someone i recommend it if you don't have anyone to play with uh, or no one willing to play with you then uh, the single player mode is certainly a good time as well there's obviously no sort of ongoing progression or anything like that it's just a case of you play a game and you win or lose and you just keep going that way there's no scoring there's no high scores or anything like that it's just purely a competitive affair where you play against either another person or a human opponent no those are the same thing you play against either another person or a computer opponent um <laughs> anyway anyway good fun yeah uh, another another hit from apx um worthy of your time and attention anyway let's leave that there for today as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again next time <laughs>